it just looked like a debate a minute ago. What do you mean, virtually annihilated? We're the strongest nation in the world. None of this makes any sense. I don't even know what we're dealing with. Where do these things come from? Where the hell have they been hiding all this time, Billy? Do you really want me to tell you, Mr. President? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess, if you don't mind. We have been beside you all along. For many years now, we've been waiting for this day to come. The operation was an overwhelming success, Lord Arkenfell. From this day forth, the planet Earth will bow to the will of Kronos. all-encompassing military organization in the history of the planet, Kronos implemented radical changes to all the world governments. National borders were dissolved, and as a result, international disputes were virtually eliminated. And thanks to the application of Kronos advanced technologies, there have been rapid advancements in medical science, as well as a dramatic reduction in worldwide pollution. However, Kronos has focused most of its attention on a global evolution of the human race, otherwise known as zoonoid optimization. Of course, Kronos insists that optimization is strictly non-compulsory, and any decision to undergo the process is up to the individual. Although optimization rates are still relatively low, thanks to its numerous advantages, the numbers of those undergoing the process are rapidly increasing. <laughs> <laughs> that looks heavy. Let me give you a hand. Thanks, but no thanks. God, come on, don't be like that, doll. Where's your place? Is it close to here? You sure got a lot of groceries there. You must have a pretty big family, huh? No need to be scared. I won't bite. It just looked like you needed help, and I've got some power to spare. You're a zoonoid, right? Unless you're hopped up on steroids, I'd say you're probably a Gregel. Huh? How'd you know? <laughs> if you think you can pick me up just because you've been optimized, you've got another thing coming. Well, there you go. Another week's worth of groceries. Thanks for all the hard work. I'm sorry, Natsuki. I hate to be such a pain. I know it must be a nuisance to carry all those heavy groceries. Don't worry, it's nothing. You're the ones who have it bad being shut up in this little apartment for a whole year. If I had known it would be this long, I would have gotten my uncle to rent you guys a nicer place. At the time, we just wanted to find a good hiding spot. Hey, if you hadn't given us a place to stay, I don't think we would have lasted very long. She's right, you know. We were lucky to survive the attack at Mount Minakami, but we'd be as good as dead if Kronos found us now. These days, safety has to take priority over comfort, especially since Master Agito and Sho are gone. Gone? Don't make it sound like they're dead or something. They're both still alive. If we believe that, we can keep fighting. Tetsuro. Oh, Mizuki, I went by your house, and it looks like your parents aren't under surveillance anymore. Huh? <sighs> For real? Since you haven't been seen in so long, I guess Kronos finally decided that you died back at Mount Minakami. Well, that's one good thing that came from all this mess, right? <sighs> but wait, that means our parents probably think we're dead, too. Yeah, I'm sure Kronos made up some story. I see. It's better that way. If everyone thinks we're dead, then that means they won't have a reason to pester mom and dad. But if they aren't under surveillance anymore, then why couldn't we sneak over and let them know that we're still alive? You know how mom is. She's probably going out of her mind, thinking that we're both dead. Forget it! <laughs> have you already forgotten what happened to Sho's dad? 
If we mess up and blow our cover at a time like this, then this whole year will have been for nothing. Now hold on a second, Tetsuro. How dare you talk to your sister like that? You think you're all grown up just because you had that nasty stubble? You don't understand, Natsuki. Kronos is too powerful. Just looking online, you can see how bad it's gotten. It's not just that they've taken over the world, it's that they're starting to change the way people think. It makes me sick knowing that more people are going in for zoonoid optimizations every day. Yeah, but only complete morons. That may be true, but there's a lot of stupid people in this world. Anyway, the point is, until Sho and Makishima come back, all we can do is sit tight and wait. You can't boss everyone around. I know you're upset, but consider Misuki too. I think all this mess is starting to get to your head. Tetsuro? Natsuki? I'm leaving. Please, don't be mad. It's all right. Next time, I'm only bringing food that Tetsuro hates. We really appreciate this, you know. Don't worry, we'll see Mom and Dad again. Just wait a little longer. Sho and Makishima will be back soon. Right. But it's been a year already. Is Sho really... Mizuki, be careful. Sorry. Shizu's always so calm and composed. I bet the thought of Mikishima being dead never even crossed her mind. I've got to believe. No matter how many years it takes, I have to keep believing that they'll come back. I can't really blame them. If I was stuck like that, I'd probably go crazy too. Fukumachi, if you are still alive, come back soon. That helicopter must be for the Soa Lords. They've been keeping busy these days. I suppose it's been a while, hasn't it, Perkstall? Well, we've been so busy after the relic crashed. You seem to be taking good care of Japan. Thank you. But what about you? How are things in the Dead Sea? Actually, I came here to talk to Dr. Barkus about that. Do you know where he is right now? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages, Dr. Barkus. Well said, hello. It's sudden, but I need you to come out to the Dead Sea as soon as possible. Yes, I know, but I'm afraid I'll have to keep you waiting just a bit longer. I understand that you're busy, Doctor, but I'm sure you're well aware of the importance of this project. The chemical components in the Dead Sea have already mutated into their second phase. In a short while, all the necessary conditions will be met and we can begin the process in full. In the history of Kronos, we have never conducted an optimization even close to this magnitude. Doctor, we can't do this without your assistance. I'm sorry, Sin, but I can't afford to leave right now. I have my own project to finish. What is that? Just a 